Alrighty guys, chest inch right here. I'm pretty sure I have everything all set up. I didn't hit patrol start time, right? I did. Alright, cool. Welcome back to what'll be another uh, SAF stream. Today we're jumping in with Sydney Jackknife, who is of course the commercial truck driver character. So yeah, we're starting out at her apartment. She's in her work uniform and all that stuff so she can just drive down to the Los Santos ports and get everything set up. That's what I'm RPing at her, uh, because <clears throat> she works for her parents' tow company, of course, and I just RP that she, you know, that the company, I don't know, fucking, what do you call it, uh, rents out a spot at the porch or something, or I just, you know, has a contract to operate out of the ports with the, uh, owner's permission and stuff. I normally use this one over here, so I normally... So yeah, I don't know what to do. It's I work early again tomorrow, so it's like I'm gonna have to fucking go have a shower in a couple hours anyway. So might as well, might as well fucking get in here. And it's like I don't know what else to do. So it's like whenever I don't know what to do, I just kind of get on as Sydney and do fucking commercial truck driving stuff. Also, nightmare. Thanks for dropping by. I know you don't watch fucking RP stuff anymore, but he, I just jump in here and just kind of fucking do stuff, I guess. Just drive around, kind of do random uh, commercial vehicle hauls. Because unlike the OJ, you don't have to go through a whole process just to get a CDL. You can just RP the character having a CDL without having to go through, like, fucking entire training for it. Which is kind of nice. But on the flip side, I can't really do a whole lot of flying because... Or I can't do a lot of helicopter or plane stuff because SAF is a lot more strict with their uh, air traffic control stuff. And you actually have to, like, talk to dispatch and use the fucking alphabetic <clears throat> stuff whenever it's called you know have a proper call sign and have proper fucking air traffic control etiquette and stuff and I couldn't be fucking bothered to do that or else I would fly around more cause flying around is fun except for when you're a little bit more strict in that regard so they're less strict when it comes to what do you call it when it comes to CDL stuff but for uh flying and air vehicles and doing stuff with that it's a lot more strict so you know take some leave some I guess pros and cons of each community and stuff I suppose which I am less than a month away from being able to potentially reapply to SA or to DOJ so you know I am keeping that in the back of my head I like how he changed his fucking direction last minute. That fucking GoPro still there and changed the direction he was going to last minute. Unexpected water intake. Oh uh, yeah, I think fucking the Nature and Trail Society fucking... Did something about contaminated water down Route 68 or something near Lagos in Kudo. I applied to uh, the. Whoa. That was a white ass fucking turn. I applied to the Nature and Trail Society, but I haven't gone back from it yet. I don't know, maybe give it another few days before maybe reaching out or something. I don't know. This one's fucking rain now. So yeah, we'll head down to the ports and set some stuff up or something. I did learn how the attached script works, so if I want to use a trailer, I could. But the trailer key bindings all 
interfere with my uh, stream stuff, so I might have to uh, maybe uh, rebind them to the uh, arrow keys if I can. I don't know if I can change those key binders. I should have checked last time, to be honest. I said I was doing this. Because I'm pretty sure I did this yesterday too, but I wasn't 100% asleep, and of course she had her TikToks and music going, and I didn't want to try to stream or make an episode out of that. Because I didn't want to have to mute Kai, because I don't like doing that when she's awake and hasn't fallen asleep yet. Cause I like hanging out and talking to her, obviously, so... If I can't avoid... <clears throat> ...eating her, I will. Which is why I kinda just... ...threw on my own copyrighted music and kinda just vibed a bit until she fell asleep and then just... I got fucking caught up at the uh, Polito Bay Sheriff Station because somebody lit that on fire and I was trying to pass it to get to Roxwood and I was stuck there in traffic for like fucking 30 minutes. So, you know, that was fun. But yeah, now that I'm actually streaming though, I don't want to, I mean, I could throw on maybe one of Nick's Nitro's playlists, because I know he doesn't, you know, copyright people over his music, as long as credit is given, obviously. But, uh, I could throw on, like, one of his playlists or something, User disconnected from your channel. like his Undertale remixes or something like that, and... See if I can do that, but we are here. I'm just going to quote unquote park it here and then just BB the car because I don't want to take up server resources. I don't know how many resources a single standard buffalo would take on the server, but I don't want to risk it. So I'm just going to DV that and pretend that it's there or something. I don't know. Uh, Vehicle option, uh, save vehicles. I'm going to have to set up. The uh, truck and stuff for uh, our first haul, I suppose. The uh, Phantom truck. This is registered as a company vehicle in the CAD. I haven't gotten stopped yet doing uh, big hauling like this, but... You never know. Hey, what's up, Clee? How you doing? Long time no see, fam. Hopefully you've been doing well the past little while. Utility. This is the one with all the fucking trailers in it, right? Yes. Yes. Great trailer. What is this one? Oh, that's the big fuck-off trailer. I should have used that one last time. I'm doing all right. Or at least trying to. Or at least trying to. Given uh, everything going on recently. Can I please delete this? I don't want it. Can I please do? Oh no. Please DB the trailer. Oh, thank God. Okay. Army trailer? What does the army trailer do? Oh, that's an army tanker trailer. Alright, probably shouldn't use that. Probably. Off trailer. Trailer? Oh. Trailer 2? Ow! <laughs> Poor Sydney's getting brain damage here trying to spawn these fucking trailers in. Trailer 3, ow! Okay, that's the one with the cars on it. I guess I could do something like that for maybe like a PDM delivery or something. Trailer 4. 
Okay, that's just the fucking default one. Here's the five. What's this one? I can never remember. Okay, that's the box trailer. I want that one. That's the box. That's the one I want to start with, at least. Oh, fuck off. Oh. Scrape my trailer, you rude fuck. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, there we go, alright. Before we go, though, I do want to see if I can change the key bindings for the, uh... Um... Is that what it means by that? User left your channel. Bucket? I don't know what the fuck User that means. From your channel. Cancel current key mode. Con Inferno vehicle attachment. Inferno vehicle attached. Interact with trailer. Missing translation. Inferno vehicle attached. Vehicle back. Move attached vehicle back. Move attached vehicle forward. Move attached vehicle left. Move attached vehicle right. That should do it. I hope. I hope. If I do attach help and turn off the chat, forward, backwards, left, right, up, down, rotate left, right, rotate up, down. Confirm position. That should be it, hopefully. We can try that on the next haul, though. But for now, we're going to be vibing with this, I guess. I should probably try to put gas in this thing. Oh, yeah, we need 24 fuel. I always RP that uh, Sydney keeps a couple extra spare jerry cans in the uh, inner cab storage area. And whenever she gets to a specific location like the ports, like the LS port, the Roxwood port, the airport, anything like that, she uh, can get a fresh one. Because uh, fueling trucks is very weird. As you can see, you have to go all the way to the rear tire in order to refill it, which makes filling up at gas stations kind of annoying. <laughs> anyway. You can go ahead, cancel the filling, open the move, because I just RP that, you know, I don't know if this is really a storage area or not, but I pretend it is, and that's where she keeps it. And that's where she... Alrighty. Um, let's just say we have just some, you know, random miscellaneous commercial freight heading up to I don't know where maybe the rocks would port and then we can try maybe attaching a vehicle up there fortunately it doesn't show me the line all the way there so I'm gonna have to uh I don't know where the line will start though yeah, as long as I can get the Procopio prompt me, it should be all right. All righty. Well, let's fucking hit the road, I guess. And then I'm done fiddling with settings. That's a stop sign. That's a stop sign. Yes. All right. 
journey, I guess. We'll see how this goes or if anything really special happens or anything like that. I don't know. Besides that, god damn it, man. I, I don't I don't feel like dealing with that. I don't feel Oh yeah, I don't wanna stay in this lane because I won't be able to fucking ready for that. Oh, no, alrighty. Now that we're finally actually on the road here. I feel like I'm gonna need this lane. I haven't been pulled over yet doing trucking stuff, which is surprising. But we'll see what happens. I'm a little bit nervous about texture loss, though. Vehicle, personal vehicle, so let's do my personal real quick. Just in case I have to do the teleporting trick and I prevent it from despawning. To reset my textures and stuff. Because as good as uh, good as Natural Vision Remastered makes my uh, 5M look, it's a uh, it uh, definitely makes me experience a hell of a lot more texture loss, especially when I do big trips between the city and the county. I'm surprised I didn't uh, get a lot of texture loss <clears throat> in the last YouTube episode when it was. Me and Kai doing a bunch of random biker stuff. Oh yeah, we'll probably do this for a bit. Depending on how I feel like it, maybe an hour or two might switch, or we'll either switch or oh, that road doesn't look great. Yikes! You know, switch characters or maybe just call it. I don't know. We shall see, but for now, we're gonna be vibing. This lane, this road is also a little fucked up.
But yeah, other than that, hopefully everybody's doing alright tonight. I am just incredibly fucking bored, I don't know. I'm just... Alright. Uh. I don't know, I'm starting to think that maybe this fucking te texture stuff isn't fucking worth it or something. A lot of issues going on right now. Because the only reason why I tried downloading this is so I could have fucking brighter police lights. But they're not even that much brighter during the day. Oh, come on. Los Santos State Police taking over the Weasel News building. My Andrew's still a little salty about that. <laughs> I hear Weeboos. I see the Weeboos. There go the Weeboos. There go the Weeboos. <clears throat> I know there's like an official uh, business called like the San Andreas Trucking Incorporated or something that is uh, oh fuck I need this lane that uh, has open applications or something I'm pretty sure I submitted one as Sydney like yesterday or something but obviously gonna give it a couple days before uh before uh trying to reach out to them as well because i'm just worried that all of my fucking applications to everywhere are just gonna get ghosted or something I was supposed to get training for the uh, transit police, but that never came through, so I'm just worried people are fucking just like ghosting me or some shit in SAF. Which, to be fair, I haven't been exactly, you know, the most outgoing either. You know, I'm still a little bit on the fence and kind of against super criminal RP, but hopefully uh, Kai trying to restart the Lost MC and SAF might help change my mind on that and help me kind of get back into the Swinger Group RP again a little bit. Yeah. Is that an actual sieve? That has to be an actual sieve. Mm. 
so worried that Siv is gonna try to screw me over or something. I'm also that's also part of the problem. I'm always so paranoid that whenever I try to do business or just mind my own business, do my own thing, I just I'm always worried people are gonna try screwing with me. Go. Oh. Fucking A. What is she doing? What is she? What is she doing? I don't like it. Una? Why are you stalking me? <laughs> what was that? What were you? Why? Fuck off. Whatever. I thought she was honking to be friendly, but then she just starts flipping me off and shit. Why? Uh, this. I'm always so paranoid about always getting screwed with. <laughs> Oh, hello. I don't like this at all. All the AI are going insane. All the AI are going insane. and they're still fucking following me. I don't like it. Not pulling over, I'm not pulling over. I'm not pulling over, I'm not pulling. I'm not pulling over. God, I have this fucking traffic. Why? I will fucking hit you. I don't care. I will fucking hit you. I Whatever. 
sure. Not worth my time. Not worth my time. I'm gonna fucking swing my cab at them if they're gonna do that. Fuck around and find out, but whatever. Yeah, it's not worth my time trying to fucking deal with. Cindy technically does have a schedule to keep, so. She's not gonna waste her time dealing with something like that. I try to be non-confrontational when I'm doing business stuff. It's only when I'm playing as Victoria or something is when I feel comfortable fucking branching out a little bit and kind of maybe causing some chaos. I don't know. I mean, I sure know fucking Victoria was unhinged when hanging out with Alex in the last episode. That's only because I was... That's only because I feel comfortable around Kai and she kind of knows me and I know her and we kind of know each other's humor and know what we can and can't get away with around each other. So that's the main reason why I uh, why I kind of, I guess, opened up a little bit because I was hanging out with her. But other than that, I try to just kind of keep to myself and not cause trouble because... Mainly because I'm still kind of introverted and a little bit kind of nervous to branch out a little bit in SAF after what happened in DOJ. But I also just kind of, when I'm sticking to business RP, I kind of try to play the character as a business employee who doesn't want to risk their job getting in trouble with the law or something, even though I did take a swing at that bike with my cab. That's mostly just to try to get them to piss off. But, oh well, but, well, uh, we'll just kind of continue minding our own business. A lot of fucking trucks are spawning, though, because I'm driving one, because a lot of commercial vehicles are spawning and stuff. Because, I mean, the funny thing is, is that this is a truck company truck, so it's like, fucking Cindy doesn't have to pay for any damage caused to it. And plus, fucking Sydney's only uh, 19, so I don't know how confrontational she'd be anyway. Like, it's not like she has any family issues. Her parents are still together, together and they run the, t uh, the shipping company that she works for. So it's like she has no reason to be aggressive, except for that little kind of maneuver she did. Try to get the fucking biker to piss off already. <laughs> Shifters is on an into radio lazy. Uh. Nice. I don't know. I could always do the typical. I'm going to pick up some logs from the lumber mill and if I can take them to the city or something. Oh, a little bit of a leg. Bit of a leg there. A bit of... Ah! 
my god. There must be a big scene going on down here. Fuck. Must be a big scene going on down here again or something. Massive leg spike. Alright, well, we're about to cross the bridge into Roxwood now, so. Then drop this, uh generic commercial freight shipment off at the Roxwood port and then see what we're going to do afterwards. Probably going to have to fill up the vehicle. Maybe I will just take some logs down to the fucking city or, again or something. I don't know. But I'm going to have to do a swap over to the county radio when I get a chance. I thought that was a fuzzy road marker. Uh, what the fuck? You fucking piece of shit AI, man. I hate it when they fucking fake out like that. I hate it when they... I thought that was a fuzzy road texture or something. I thought I was starting to get some texture loss, but no. Nah. I guess I'll just go over here and this will probably be easier. I might do a fucking GOC of being struck by the motorcycle now that I'm actually being able to stop in Roxwood. Now that I'm... Times four big scratch marks. Yeah. 
pasting dash cam. gonna do this and if I could see anything significant then I'll call 911 or like 311 to report a uh, damaged property complaint other than that I'm uh leave it at that if I can't get anything out of it because you know what's the point right just say that she has a tablet in the Back as well. She normally uses a clipboard for uh, making note of everything, but I might just have her switch to the uh, tablet because it's probably easier to keep things electronically and have access to the dash cam and stuff. But we'll see if we get a response from this. If not, then probably we'll just move on. I know there's a, uh, I don't know if there's a repair shop in Roxwood, but I know there's a gas station up there. Might get gas there and then, you know, have a. Uh, Go up to the uh, get a partial plate of LAC. Alrighty. Alrighty, let's see here. Phone call. I guess we'll do that. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll wait and see if somebody decides to uh, take a gander down here. I honestly might just pull into here and call it, just drop it off here or something. Yeah, hey, I'm sorry for the shorter stream tonight, guys, but I am working early tomorrow and I still have stuff I gotta do before I leave. So. That is going to call it here for this stream of uh, San Andreas Finest. Thank you guys for watching and I'm out.